The five-ton truck is the backbone of the Army's cargo hauling fleet. It is designed to transport equipment, materials, or personnel on all types of roads, as well as cross-country terrain. The addition of commercial components such as engines, automatic transmissions, and complete air brakes mark vast improvements over earlier Model 5 tons. The later M939A1 series were modified for super single tires while the newer M939A2 series trucks include an improved lightweight fuel efficient engine and a central tire inflation system for better mobility. This program will focus on the capabilities of the M925A2 cargo truck and some of the preventive maintenance procedures you will be performing on the vehicle. Other models of the M939A2 series are similar and the technical manual should be referred to for specific information on the model you are operating. Preventive maintenance checks and services or PMCS are performed on all equipment the Army owns to ensure the equipment remains in top operating condition. Some services will be performed before during or after the operation of the vehicle, while other checks and services are performed on a weekly or monthly basis. All these services are listed in your operator's manual, which must be used to conduct these checks. Make sure you pay attention to any safety, caution, or warning notes listed in the manual. If anything looks wrong and you can't fix it, write it on your DA Form 2404 and report it to Organizational Maintenance. Take along the Equipment Records folder and the basic issue items referred to as BII when performing PMCS. You also need a rag or two for wiping and to check lubricant levels. Before operation PMCS must be performed prior to placing the vehicle or its components in operation. Begin with the exterior of the vehicle. Take a look at the left front tire and visually check it for any under inflation, leaks, cuts or other damage that would prevent vehicle use. As you are walking around the vehicle, look it over for any damage or evidence of tampering. Next, ensure that you have a spare tire. It is secure and that it is serviceable. Take a look at the fuel tank, lines, and fittings for leaks or damage. Also, check the fuel level and the tank cap and strainer for damage. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, take a look at the cargo cover, checking for damage and inspect the serviceability of the intermediate and rear axle tires. As you come around the rear of the vehicle, check the condition of the safety strap, the safety strap eyelets, the troop seats, latches, and retaining pins. Moving to the right side of the vehicle, inspect the rear and intermediate axle tires. Also check this side of the cargo cover for damage. Now look under the side of the vehicle for any signs of leaks from the transfer, transmission and engine. Inspect the front tire in the same manner that you checked the other tires. From the front of the vehicle, inspect the area under it for any evidence of leaks. Next, raise the hood and secure the retaining bar to the bumper bracket. Remove the left and right engine splash shields to allow easier access to the checks under the hood.
Remove the coolant surge tank filler cap and visually check the level. Inspect the drive belt for frays and cracks. Now check the fluid levels before starting the engine. First, check that the power steering reservoir level is at or slightly above the cold full mark. Pull out the dipstick and check the engine oil level. It should indicate a reading between the full and add two quarts marks. The last engine compartment check is to be sure fluid is present in the transmission. Then reinstall the engine splash shields. and release the hood retaining bar. Carefully lower the hood. Fasten the hood latches. And secure the retaining bar 